Hello and welcome to this new section, getting started with clauses. In this section, we are going to understand different types of clauses to make us eligible in working with Neo4j. For this video, we are going to focus on the merge clause. For that, we have some learning objectives. Let's see what are they. First of all, we will see the overview of merge clause and after that we will simply dive into the main area where we are going to merge a node with label then with properties. We will also see how merge command helps in matching and creating relationship between the nodes. And in the end, we will understand on create and on match command. That's all for the learning objectives. Now let's proceed to the overview. Merge command is a combination of match and create command that looks for the specific pattern in the database on user request. Merge clause actually first tries to find the given pattern and if it fails to find, it simply creates a new pattern and return the result to the user. Now let's see merging a node with the label. For that, the syntax is very simple as you see. If I am moving to the browser and directly applying the clause, that will get you really excited since you are learning the best database of all time. So let's proceed. As you see, at this time the database is empty and after running this command, it will simply create a new node with a label person. And there you see, we got a new node which is created with a person label. Now on repeating the same command, we will get the same result because the pattern is now available. Now coming on to merging a node with the properties, the syntax is pretty similar to the previous one, but just an addition of properties in that. Now I am going to run this clause to get your results on your screen. So let's go to our browser and enter the clause now. And there you see we used the same node which was previously created but without properties and now on merging the properties we got a properties for that node as well and on running the same command we will get the same result as previously the node was created and now it will search and present the data to the user now moving on to the relationship which is a bit different from the previous statements it actually looks for the two nodes and matches for the relationship between them if that exists, we get the output right away. Contrary to that, it will create the relationship and return the result. Let's use merge clause for relationship. Now we need to create the two nodes first. Now there you see, we don't have any relationship between these. After running the command, there you get a newly created relationship, which is Ali is the student of Dr. Jahazeb. And on repeating the same clause, we will get the same result as expected since it founds the value from the database and the pattern matches. Finally, we are on the last topic for this video, which is to understand the onCreate and onMatch command. It actually looks for a node in the graph database. If the node is created and already there, a new property of is matched is added to that node. And if it is not available, is created property will be added and the new node will be created. So let's see how it works. Now I am creating a new node and that is not available. So we expect is created property will be added along with that node in the database. And there you go. Is created property is successfully added and a node is also added in the database. And if we repeat the same command, is matched property will be added 